and welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this Tech Tip, we will demonstrate how to set up the relative humidity accessory to a DHR rheometer. The relative humidity accessory on the DHR rheometer is a powerful tool which allows users to monitor the rheological property change of a material and their both control temperature and humidity. This humidity chamber is used in combination with a series of specially designed and optimized geometries for testing varieties of different types of samples, from low viscosity liquids to solid. Its operational temperature range is from 5 to 120 degrees Celsius with a heating and cooling rate of maximum 1 degree per minute. The controllable relative humidity range is from 5 to 95% depending on a set temperature. If this is the first time setting up the humidity generator, please follow the RH Accessory Getting Started Guide from the online help manual to properly fill up the heat exchanger and saturator reservoirs and priming the temperature control system. For general routine setup, first, Check and make sure the humidity accessory is connected with the dry nitrogen gas with a pressure of 20 psi. Check and make sure the heat exchanger and saturator reservoirs are properly filled and the humidity generator is connected to the back of the instrument electronic box with the RS232 cable. Then power on the RH accessory. The LCD screen from the front of the humidity generator should show TA instrument standby. To install the RH accessory sample chamber onto the rheometer, first raise the rheometer head to the topmost position. Rotate the protection cover at the smart swap base in counterclockwise direction and remove it. Remove the three screws in the base using an Allen wrench. Insert the three standoff studs to the base of the smart swap flange plate. Locate the base of the humidity chamber on the three standoff studs and loosely fix it in place. Attach an ARPA geometry to the motor shaft using the draw rod. Use this upper geometry as an alignment tool to adjust the base of the sample chamber so that there is an even gap around the upper geometry shaft. Tighten the mounting screws. Fit the front half of the sample chamber and make sure the gap around the upper geometry shaft is still even. If not, loosen the screws and realign. When properly aligned, the upper geometry should be able to spin freely. Then, remove the front half of the sample chamber. Press the release button on the instrument keypad until you see a continuous green light. Insert the bottom geometry stage. When the green light is off, the bottom geometry stage should be locked in position. Install the front half of the sample chamber. From TRIO software, under the control panel and environment, preconditioning the chamber to the initial test temperature and humidity. After the chamber is fully equilibrated, zero the geometry gap. Now you are ready to create a test procedure, load your sample, and start your test. The relative humidity accessory allows you to program your experiment with the following different options. Program a test under ISO temperature and ISO humidity. Program a test under ISO temperature with a humidity ramp or humidity step. Program a test under ISO humidity with a temperature ramp or temperature step. Program a test under both humidity step and temperature step. In this TA Tech Tip, we have demonstrated how to set up the relative humidity accessory on a DHR rheometer. Please stay tuned for more TA Tech Tips and thank you for your interest.